Hey, what's going on fellas? In this video, I got a really cool pump that I built that's a positive displacement pump that is variable flow and variable pressure for under a thousand dollars. I actually built it for 200 bucks, but if you were to try and find another pump that could do this at this price, you'd be paying upwards of five thousand dollars in some cases. If you've ever tried to find a water pump that has a high pressure and a very low flow, we're talking under a liter per minute or even anywhere near a liter per minute, it's impossible. You can't find them, they don't exist. So I've built something that could also be used as a hydraulic pump or an oil pump for oil burners, all that type of stuff. It's a really cool thing. So a lot of people are gonna be able to use this information. It's something that I've been talking with an individual in Texas about who has some um, pressure washer equipment, but he doesn't know how to regulate the flow of these pressure washer pumps so this is called the bypass valve configuration and this thing is really cool i think you guys will like it today we're doing an experiment with a bypass valve configuration on a pump that will hopefully enable me to control the flow rate and pressure of this pump to whatever flow and pressure i need within 300 psi which is the specification of the output the PSI rating of this pump is 1600 PSI and like 1.5 gallons per minute at that pressure but that's just far too high for what we're doing so today's strategy is going to deploy something called the bypass valve configuration never seen a pump like this in my life though I do believe it's used in large oil furnaces or oil boilers but uh, nothing this small. Now the problem is, is that if you go to buy a pump that um, is say 100 to 160 PSI's on eBay, let's see what we got here, you're gonna get ripped off. So this is one of the higher grade pumps that you can find online, but it's still junk. This is a 160 PSI pump. One of the very few that actually produce the rated um pressure and one of the ways you can tell whether or not you're about to get ripped off on specifications is if it doesn't have a ul rating on it you had better believe they're lying to you about the output of that device i guess a long story short finding a low flow high pressure water pump is impossible for under a thousand dollars that is this setup here costs about 200 bucks which is a steal seeing as how I've broke several pumps. The reason I'm building this pump is to incorporate it in a steam boiler that I've been working on and I keep blowing up pumps. They're just not beefy enough. So let me walk you through what I'm gonna attempt to do here. Essentially this valve is the discharge valve and we are going to use this valve to modulate the flow rate now the pressure will be controlled by this valve here is what's gonna happen. If this valve's closed all the way, all the pressure has to go out this valve. If we have this valve almost closed and this valve almost closed, we're gonna build up pressure in this cavity, which is gonna be like our pressure zone. So if we cause this area in the system to be at 300 PSI's, which is what I'm gonna shoot for today, and we have just a trickle of water coming out we're going to shoot for a liter a minute that's it boiling one liter a minute of water is a fairly tremendous steam jet so that's that's our target for this test okay i'm going to shut the water flow off and see what pressure registers about 50 psi <clears throat> a little bit lower than normal out here okay so i'm going to open the flow rate i'm going to open this valve oh that's weird i know it's happening Pressure is flowing directly from here to there.
gotta shut that off a minute. That is just way too cool. We are able to generate any pressure we want and any flow rate we want up to 1600 psi is 1.5 gallons per minute as high as two to three gallons per minute so this is incredible i mean this pump itself costs a hundred dollars and all the hardware with it was about another hundred bucks i think i spent 194 dollars walking out of menards to do what we're looking at here The main purpose of doing this test in a breadboard configuration was to see whether or not I would need needle valves. I was worried that these valves would not give us the fine tuning that I wanted in it. But as you can see, I was able to land that needle down to the single PSI. The flow rate wasn't any harder. So nothing um, worrisome or troublesome whatsoever just happened it's a little early in the morning i can't run this thing anymore i don't want to wake everybody up it's bad enough i keep them up late with noise so i'm gonna end this for today but uh this information is going to be useful to a lot of people because people have contacted me in the past about this pump issue it's very hard to find a pump that can do what we just seen for uh, for this price you can buy them for a thousand to five grand. <laughs> One of the coolest things about this test is that I will also be able to solve my oil pump problems I've had in the past. Building oil pumps for waste oil burners is very hard to do. See, I had this set up here and it just doesn't do what you want it to. It's a very pulsy gyration type pump this will probably be the same way though now that i think about it it's hard to say i could put uh a water hammer resistor on there to act as a cushion but anyway the pulsations don't do well on waste oil burners because they translate into the fireball pulsating every time the the g rotor lobes a clump of fluid into that line it's like a machine gun okay so that frequency is very observable in the flame and it does things that that do what i would consider to be unstable it's just not as stable of a combustion and i don't think it's as hot as it can get so this was a pretty huge success for me on this test i've always i built one of these years ago for an oil pump and it didn't work um, I wasn't able to get the flow rates right and I think all it was was my valves were just too big um, I used large valves like these here and these don't give you very good fine tuning and I was going for like super low flow rates so I don't know anyway I just wanted to share that with you guys because uh I'm working with an individual in Texas right now by the name of Cook. And uh, this video is mostly for you, brother. I mean, this is for Carlos also. This is your pump, Carlos. We are installing this bad boy. I'm not going to charge you any extra. It's not your fault that I'm getting ripped off from China. <laughs>